Alright, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to all of you, the Form 2 students. So today we have this uh, online session. If I'm not mistaken, uh, we had online session um, about three weeks ago or two weeks ago. So this is actually the continuous, okay, continuous to um, the previous lesson. So I believe that you can use the input that, uh, that you have uh, from the previous lesson uh, for, to help you in writing tasks. And today we are going to focus on a writing task, yeah? Okay, so um, what are we going to focus or learn today, right? Okay, for those who are just coming in, hi, hi. Welcome to the online class. Can you please write down your um, full name and also your um, class so that we can identify you? Okay. So now, what are we learning today? So today we are going to focus on the writing skill where you need to write an email for real this time. Okay. Got the PUBG. Okay. All right, you really need to write an email and you need to send your essay to your, uh, to your subject teacher, teacher, okay? So by the end of this lesson, I want you to write an email on the topic which we are going to give you later on and then email it to your subject teacher so that the teacher can check and give feedback on what to improve and so on later on, yeah? Let's check. Even though that this is an online class, we will still uh, try to keep it as close as the face-to-face -face class also. Okay. So, number one, make sure you have your English language exercise book or notebook next to you right now. Or, if you don't have your book, you can still have a piece of paper for you to write down notes. For sure, by the end of this lesson, you need to jot down something, okay? And of course, please have your pen, pencil with you also. And once again, this is very important. I want you to write your name, your full name, and your class at the chat box, okay? so that we can identify you, especially if you are not using your um, MOEID, okay? All right, next. So, by the end of the lesson, you are supposed to be able to, number one, state at least two points on the benefits of online shopping. This one, we had covered it, uh, during our YouTube live stream, if you still remember, do you still remember that session? Huh? The benefits of online shopping. If I'm mistaken, um, we had given you four points there. So what you need to do to uh, state at least two points from the benefits of online shopping session, NTB 47 and 48. Um, uh, listening and speaking skill, right? So later on, I will introduce to you the format on writing an email and then based on that format, you are to write about 80 words essay of the topic given and send an email to your subject teacher, meaning that if your English teacher is me, Puan Amadi, Puan Amadi, later on you need to send an email to my email address, okay? If your teacher is Puan Sri Rajeswari, later on I give you the email of the teacher's um, email, then you email to the subject teacher, right? Okay, so why 80 words? Why 80 words? Because this type of essay question is for part one, okay? The communicative message um, the format. That's why you just need to write about 80 words essay. For the second part of this essay writing in examination, 
you are to write about 120 words essay. Okay, so for this one, email is for part one. Part one, we only have 80 words count of essay. Now, activity number one. I want to test your memory, whether you still can recall on the points of the listening and speaking task, the one that we did online also from YouTube stream, live stream, okay? Now, um, we had given you four points on the benefits of online shopping during the previous uh, lesson. So now, I want you to write in the chat box two benefits of online shopping that we had covered during NTB 47 lesson and NTB 48 lesson. Can you recall the points? Okay, please write it in the chat box. Imana Dima, very good. The first one to respond. Always open. No more queuing. Okay, Madev. Oh, Madev. Okay, 24 hours. What do you mean by 24 hours? Open for 24 hours. Okay, and no queuing. Okay, who else? Who else wants to try? Abhinash. We won't get infected by Corona. Okay, this is something new. Yes, I will not going to say it's wrong. It is one of the points of the, uh, also on the benefits of online shopping. Okay, uh, maybe this is, um, we can say this uh, as the additional point. Okay. Many choices. Okay, very good. Law Jin Tao. Spatial discount. Hash Vinesh. Sakti Belu can buy best items easily. Okay, good idea. Who is Apex Joa? Enjoa, Wong Wong Enjo. Okay, various choices. Okay, very good. Okay, Ali Shalam. Online shopping is convenient for those who are busy with work. Online shopping is also open for twenty four hours. Wow. Okay, very accurate. Stay distance. Okay, special discounts and then convenient and quick. No need to rush to buy important items, save time and so on. Okay, well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now let's check whether your answer at the chat box is on track or not. Okay, let's check. Okay, remember we had covered this on NTB 50, oh no, sorry, this is typo, 47 and NTB 48, yeah? If you still remember this. Mm, okay, so we have number one, online shopping is open for 24 hours. Okay, you can shop anytime you like at your convenient time. Okay, number two, if you do online shopping, no more queuing. Number three, special discount, okay? And number four, many choices. Like for this one, we are, if we are looking for a pair of shoes and then we have many choices on, uh, on the items that we want to buy, okay? So next, now, remember that your task is to write an email. Okay, I am not sure how familiar of you on writing an email. Maybe there are some <coughs> of you here, you know, uh, we're going to write email for the first time in writing this essay. So number one, you need to remember when we are writing email, it can be formal or informal. Okay. How do we know it's formal or informal? When you get the question, you need to figure out first whether this is formal or informal. Usually formal is when we need to reply or write 
to someone who is not close to us. Like for example, the the uh, Chegu Ismawi, our principal, right? Um, to your teacher, okay, the one that you are not familiar, you are not close to, okay. Informal, if the recipient is someone uh, that we are close, for example, your parents, your friends, um, who else? Your family members. So indirectly, indirectly, you will know that the uh, email is informal. Okay. So number two. An informal email are usually written for family members or friends. Okay, this is what I uh, explained just now. Uh, okay, so number three, as it is informal, the language used in the emails is more casual and friendly. Okay, if we are writing to a family member or to our friend, we can use a more friendly language. Like, for example, when we write um, the greeting part, okay, the greeting part, the greeting part, and then um, we you just say, hi, Jaden, like that, okay, hi, Jimin, hi, Jungkook, right, hmm, okay, so we are close to them. We can use friendlier language to them, okay? But if we are writing to the principal, can we say, Hi, Chegu is Maui, okay? We usually um, write it in the formal way. For example, good afternoon, Chegu is Maui, something like that. Yeah, I hope that you can see the difference between formal and informal writing over here. You can also apply this if uh, you are writing um, letters, okay? Here are some common reasons for sending emails and the phrases that we can, uh, that can be used to convey them. Okay, this is, I think this is a good um, sample for you so that you will know on uh, how to write it based on the reasons of that task. Now, if the question is asking you to invite someone for an event, for example, a birthday party, class um, party, and so on, you can use this mm -hmm. phrase in your email. Okay, would you like to join us for what? Okay, for the birthday party or class party, okay, you can continue here based on the question. If the question is uh, about invitation, okay, to accept it, someone invite you to a party, birthday party, and then you would like to accept it, how do you write it? You can write it like this. I would love to join your party next week. Something like that, okay? Or maybe someone invites you and then you want to decline you want to say no maybe because you have something going on on that particular date so how do you say no politely okay you can write it like this thank you for the invitation but uh, then you continue next to express sympathy okay you can write it like this i am so sorry to hear about about what Okay, and last one, to offer advice or suggestions. You can write it like this in your sentence. Perhaps you should go for online shopping. Okay, that's the example. All right, I am going to show you the format of an email. Um, send an email before, so this is not something new for you. But um, if this is going to be your first time to send an email, then I think that you need this input, okay? Right, now, if you log in to your Gmail, any email account, okay, you can see options like this, okay? You can see inbox, parts, new send, spam sometimes, compose, and so on. 
the one that I show you here is actually the screenshot for Gmail or your MOE email account. Okay, this is the screenshot. If you are using Yahoo, you are using other um, accounts, it might be something different like this, but the items shown will be some uh, will be similar. Okay, now. If you want to write an email, you need to look for this icon, compose icon, meaning that you are going to start drafting your email. Okay, after you log in, log into your Gmail and then look for this icon, compose, right? And then it will going to bring you to a new window like this with the title new message okay on top here you can see new message and then there is an option there recipients subject and then the empty space here is for you to write your email and then you can see there are buttons here for you to choose and last one is for you to click send right okay now what is the format of an email an email you must write the recipient address recipient is um the one that we're going to get your email okay so you write the email address here not the house address but the email address okay yahoo at moe dash dl dot edu like that okay then you need to include a brief subject here so that we know okay before we open the email we will know what is the content of this email is about okay and then at the space here you may write your email yeah. In your email, I want you to write like this. Start your email with greetings. Okay, over here. For example, you simply write, Hi, Jimin. Jimin is going to get my email. So I write that person's name with the greetings. Okay. Next, you can start writing your points in paragraphs. Okay, you write your message here, separate it from the greetings. Greetings here, one line only. Then you write your points in the next line. Okay. When you have written down your message here with the points, then before you send your email, you sign off and write your name because we are the sender, right? We are the owner of this email, right? So I give you an example over here. Regards, Taeyong. Then only if you are satisfied with the content of your email then you click send then we'll be this one at the bottom part of your um draft email window okay here yeah. right so this is your writing task and your homework this one you need to copy in your english language book or you can just screenshot so that you can refer to the question later on okay read the following email in about 80 words 80 words only okay meaning that about 80 words um i would recommend you to write the minimum of 80 words not less than that I don't want you to write 79 words only, okay? Please try 
to reach this number minimum of 80 words reply the email and give him or her some advice okay so this is the email that you are going to reply that you are going to write as your homework okay hi the name here optional for you to put you put uh it's up to you okay for you to put here next friday is my brother's birthday i am planning to buy him a t-shirt i'm still worried to go shopping as covid 19 outbreak is still active should i just buy the present online or go to the mall please let me know what you think so regards then you write your name here okay this is um your friend's email to you and you are to reply this email okay remember just now um we uh had a recall on the previous lessons um points on the benefits of online shopping if you are to advise your friend to go for online shopping you may use that point to help you write but if you still advise your friend just to go to the mall and buy uh, the present i will not going to say it wrong it is up to your choice okay it's not wrong but you need to come up with your own points okay um let me see let me see if we have any question okay avinash okay good question can we write our own opinion sure sure why not okay but you need to make sure that you support your opinions with elaboration with examples explanation now i would like to ask you out of these five phrases five phrases over here would you like to join us for i would love to thank you for the invitation but or i'm so sorry to hear about and perhaps you should okay out of these five phrases which one would be suitable for you to write in your email for this task can you please write it in the chat box which one should uh, would be a uh, would be suitable for you to use in your writing task okay kevin i i can see your uh, response there alicia madev only three okay erin iman adima yasmin oh irfan hi irfan okay hash vinesh and so on okay okay i am happy i am happy based on the response that you give from the chat box it seems like you know which one to choose okay the answer is perhaps you you should okay because this one is to offer advice or suggestions remember that your task is for you to give advice whether just to go online shopping or go to the mall okay you need to give your friend advice okay very good okay this one is very important i want this to be in your writing in the email minimum 80 words cannot less i am forcing you my students okay i am forcing you to write and try to reach minimum one uh, no 80 words okay minimum 80 words so if i say minimum 80 words can you write 100 words can you please reply in the chat box okay very good yes 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 can okay because it says here minimum 80 words meaning that you can write more than 80 words it could be 100 words but try not to write very long okay because we want you to focus 
on the quality of your writing rather than the quantity of your writing. If you focus on quantity, if you think that the longer your essay, the better, meaning that you will have this kind of possibility to write or to do more mistakes in terms of grammar in your writing. Okay, so try to have something accurate there. Number two, by the end of your essay, in bracket, in bracket, I want you to write the word count. I want you to practice counting the words when you write. Okay, so at the end of your essay, in bracket, you write how many words for this essay. Number three, this is something normal. Double check your writing before you submit. Okay, double check, double check your spelling, the sentence structure, okay, uh, whether you can improve more or not, okay. And last one, we, the teachers, will going to use this task as one of your PBD evidence. By the end of the year, the teachers will going to transfer the level uh, or your performance level for PBD. There you go. Copy, 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 copy. Who is your English teacher? If your English teacher is me, Princess Amadi, then you go and email it to my email address. Okay. If your uh, English teacher is Juan Melody, then I also provided here your um, English teacher's email address. Okay. If you are using your phone, maybe you can just screenshot. If you don't have it, you're using your laptop, maybe you can just um, copy. You don't have to send to all teachers. Huh? Only to your English teacher. But if you don't remember your teacher's name, you are not sure which one is your English teacher's name, it's okay. You can just email it to me. Okay, I will check it, right? So, teacher, okay. we just send to our teacher, right? Yes, very good. You just send it to your teacher email, okay? Your teacher's email. Uh, you don't have to send all. So, you just copy your subject teacher's emails. Around, teacher, are you okay? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Yeah, what, what's the question? Um, can we just... Do we have like to take a picture and then send it to email or can, do we have to just type it in the email? We... Ah, good question. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, now for this task, I would recommend you to write an email, meaning that you type it, okay, and then you send it. So this okay. one is not only to test you in writing tasks, but we are also um, introducing you to the actual um, email writing task. Another option is just in case if you are still not familiar with, um, you know, how to send email, it's okay. You can just write on a piece of paper, okay? And then you snap picture, make sure it's clear. Make sure it's clear, okay? And then, if you have my IG, you can um, send it pro, uh, pro, uh, in my IG DM. Okay. okay. But make sure it's clear. If you have your English teacher's personal number, you can yeah. WhatsApp her. Optional. It's okay. Okay. Any more questions? I, no, I don't believe so. Uh, I don't okay, believe I have so. one here from the chat box. Okay. Teacher, when we need to submit the essay. Okay. Good question. Okay, now today is Thursday, 18th of June. You have one week, one week until Thursday next week to write or do this homework. Okay, the email address, you got it right? No, teacher. Oh, 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 oh yeah, this is important, this is important. Ah, this is important, huh? For you to submit the email, you must have the teacher's email address. 
Yes. yes, you must send it to your English subject teacher. But if you don't remember who is your English subject teacher, you can just send it to me. Teacher, we use we, our own Gmail or MOE Gmail to send to teacher. Up to you. If you want to use your personal email, no problem. As long as you send the homework. But you must mention there your full name and your class because sometimes you are using uh, your personal ig i uh, uh, not ig your personal gmail you are not using your full name right no nope. so very difficult for us to identify you later on don't forget to write your full name in your class yeah when you send if we don't have any more questions Let's check if we have covered the lesson. Okay, number one, you were supposed to state at least two points on the benefits of online shopping. Yes, you did this just now. Okay, in fact, you gave me uh, four points okay, for the benefits of online shopping. Very good. And then to identify the format of writing an email. Okay, the format, you must have the email address and then you must read and then to identify whether the language used is formal or informal language, okay? Right. Oh, that why was that? 80 words essay. 80 words, huh? More is okay. I don't want less. I don't want lesser than that. This is the only homework, lah. 80, 80 words writing task. It's not enough. It's not enough. You tell me it's not enough. I can tambah some more. <laughs> if anyone ever says that, if anyone ever says it, come on, come on. Yeah, la, all, Biggest okay, clown in the universe. Biggest you know, clown. 80 words only, okay? Clown. So I tamba. Huh? More, more than 80 words. More okay. than 80 words. Come on. All right. Okay. If you don't have anything to ask, I think that's it. Teacher, are you using a green screen? Yes, I am using I mean, like, wow, who would have guessed? Yes. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? <laughs> Teacher has such a lovely background. Who would have guessed? Hey, it's a must, you know. I can even change the background, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess that's it. All right. So, thank you very much to all of you. Hope okay. that you are doing uh, the... You will do the homework. And what is wrong with you? Soon. Right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you to all the teachers also who are here. Right? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank That's you, it. Teacher. I'm going to stop the right, recording. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thanks to all of you. Uh, thank you, Man. teacher. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Several participants left the meeting. This is very sad, guys. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you.